Hello and welcome back to Stephen Plays Earthbound. My name is Stephen George. I play video games and I'm going to play Earthbound. Uh, last episode, we took care of Master Belch. The Belch base is uh, defeated, completed, regreeded. Okay, that one, that one is not going to work. The first thing we're going to do is go down here and recover our health using the hotel. And that's going to be vital because today we're going to at least attempt to, uh, to get the third sanctuary location. Which is going to be a big accomplishment if we can do it. In my opinion, it's one of the hardest areas of the entire game. Why is it so hard? Well, based on... Well, okay. Here's why I hate it. There's a lot of enemies that can confuse you. And I don't like being confused. Uh, confusion in the game is where a mushroom grows out of the top of your head, which is convenient because you can sell it for 50 bucks, but that's that's not good. We need to be able to move forward without uh, hitting each other, because everyone is so capable of like instantly killing each other whenever they're confused. Even so, we're going to give the shot. So, here we go. Into this cave. Oh god. Those are ranboobs. Actually, all things considered, we probably would have had a better chance fighting the ranboobs than we will fighting the <laughs> that stuff. I'm saying, Steven, stop being a pansy. Do it. Well, just chill a second. We we want to make sure that we can we can live. Ah, crap. Okay. I would actually rather fight the ram boobs or anything that's not. Oh, doggone it. Come on, come on. I'm. I really should have went with the ram boobs. They were the first ones, and they were, they would have been fine. I think the game has it out to get me. Oh, look, a magic butterfly. What the heck? Why is it Why is it always giving me mushrooms? Okay, this is like... I think that was the tenth time? I'm dead set on, on skipping this part. I'm going to skip this. I'm going to get through this without having to fight those mushrooms. I'm sorry. It's just how it's going to be. That was one mushroom. That was good. Certainly. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. There's not a mushroom. I'll deal. Ranboob. Does everything look flammable? That's because it is. Fire Alpha should help. The tough mobile sprouts suck. They are not fun. They are very powerful. Oh, they do a lot of damage. They love magnet. They're not my friends. Let's try Fire Alpha again. Luckily, the, their little friends aren't, aren't sprouting up. Like I said, I really do consider this one of the hardest areas of the game. I'm glad that they're, uh... God! Okay, well, that's fine. I'd rather him be asleep than confused. Oh, gone it. Man, the tough mobile sprouts are still freaking alive. All right, we got one left. Certainly, we can take this one out. Uh, okay. Attacking Paula, luckily she defended, and bam, there we go. That was the first fight. It's hard. It's hard. It's it's very difficult. Jeff's level is now 24. Oh, baby, offense went up by 3, defense went up by 1. Oh, baby, guts went up by 3, vitality went up by 1, IQ went up by 2, maximum HP went up by 10. That's nice. Luckily he'll be awake. Oh, God. Whatever. Let's do it. I'm going to focus uh, on taking that stuff out as fast as I can. I do not like it. I do not want it around. Those mushrooms can really, really mess you up. Uh, I'm actually going to use Fire Beta and uh, do the best job I can. Because if those things sprout spores... Crap! That sucks. That sucks. That sucks. That sucks. That totally sucks. And you're saying, well, why does it suck so bad? It's because you can't get rid of that. There's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do to get rid of that. Um, at least here. I'd have to backtrack and and go fight the era, uh, go into the uh, little pink pond you saw back there. I don't want to say that Jeff is completely useless now, but he's not in good shape. Let's put it that way. Are you? So, you know, am I just going to have him defend for the rest of the time? Well, I don't know. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I really didn't want to backtrack, so I... We'll see. We'll see. Nessa's level is now 26. Offense went up by 1. Speed went up by 1. Vitality went up by 1. HP went up by 12. 
Paul is levels now 24. Offense went up by 2. Defense went up by 1. Speed went up by 2. Vitality went up by 1. IQ went up by 2. Luck went up by 2. HP went up by 10. PP went up by 9. And learned Magnet. Uh, that's Magnet Omega. So she'll be able to uh, uh, extract the juices from everybody. Unfortunately, Jeff is... Uh, I'm going to have to ask him to defend. It's just... Unfortunately, it's just how it's going to be. I'm scared of Jeff right now. Jeff scares me. Paula, on the other hand, can keep up with fire. And we don't have to worry about using Paula's PP too much because she has Magnet. So if she gets in a tough spot, she can use Magnet. And that's probably what we, well, that's probably what we'll do. We can kill the stupid Rambo. Fire Alpha, hopefully we'll take him out. Jeff's gonna get really used to just sitting there. Hope you don't mind, Jeff. You're just, uh... You're worrying me. Took some from Paula. Okay, you won. Excellent. 2,000. No one goes up a level. So we're definitely getting up there. Just one, one sprout. Certainly we can handle this. In fact... Steal its, steal its stuff while we're here. Magnet Alpha drained 4 PP. Hopefully it doesn't make friends while I'm just toying with it. Now it's stealing... Crap, now it's still 6. Ha, but we got 7. Take that, you stupid sprout. Magnet Alpha and defend. They recovered health. We're just going to keep stealing its PP. And attacking it. It's kind of nice to have just a single enemy like this. If it's if it's if it uh, sows seeds and starts making friends, it could be a problem. Oh, it's out of PP. Well, luckily we killed it. Okay, we're in, we're in pretty good shape. I really wish Jeff wasn't confused. That's a big deal to me. Oh man, that's awesome. Unfortunately, Jeff is confused. <laughs> I'm still getting rid of it. Um, you know, I don't have anything that can that can do that. <sighs> that sucks. Oh well, anyway. So while I'm here, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and refill. Let's refill Jeff and my own. And then this will certainly help. Oh, if only I could get rid of that stupid mushroom on Jeff's head. Jeff, you're noggin. It's becoming a problem for me. We made it here relatively quickly and safely. Gotta say that much. Coin of slumber? What does the coin of slumber do? Well, let me show you. Uh, defense up is uh, even higher by five. We should be right there. Yep, yeah, that was actually pretty easy. The only problem is Jeff is dumb. Which sucks. Because he's got a big battle rocket that would really help right now. But uh, if he uses it, he'll probably shoot us, and then we'll die, and, you know, that's not that great. Anyway, here we go. You finally got here. This is the third your sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me, if you dare. I do dare. I, I dare to dare. Trillion Sprout and Cohorts. I, uh, I believe that this thing has a shield of some sort. I guess we'll find out the hard way. Go ahead and, wow, it killed the sprouts. I think it has a uh, physical shield. So we'll just focus on doing uh, psychic attacks. Rockin' Beta. Doing a nice bit of damage to the thing. Uh, it did 70 damage when it hit me, though. So that, that kind of sucks. Um, it might be a good idea to use shield. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put a shield on Paula. So she stays safe. Because she's the one that's going to be doing, uh, doing a bit of the work here. So let's do Fire Beta, and you defend, Jeff. Wow, trying to take out Ness. That could be bad. We don't, we won't, we don't want Ness to be taken out. Stay alive. Let's, uh, first, first time we're ever going to use Life Up Beta on Ness. And we're going to just keep it up with this. Oh, no, 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 not you, Jeff. You just sit. 25 damage to Paula. 
certainly uh, that shield helped out a bit. Uh, let's do... Let's give her another shield to make it a little stronger, and then I won't worry about that for a while. And Jeff defends. Pretty safe fight. Things are things are going all right. Can't complain. Now I'll have Ness uh, recover Paula. So let's use Life of Alpha on her, and then uh, Fire Beta. Take that, you fiend! Oh, attacking Jeff now. Okay, now that Ness is free to do stuff himself again, I think I'll give a shield to Jeff. And oh crap, Paula's out. Let's use Magnet. Paralysis. Oh, that sucks. Paula's numb. Luckily, that still allows her to uh, to use psychic abilities. You just can't do physical attacks. Okay. So everyone's got a shield but me. So let's give myself a shield. Paula has enough psychic abilities to use fire again, so go ahead and use it. And defend. Oh, now, now it's going to cut the psychic attacks by half. Oh. Or makes it disappear. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that sucks. That's right. Crap. Hmm. We're gonna have to get rid of that. I wonder if Flash works on this enemy. I I, I almost never use Flash because it pretty much doesn't work on uh, on enemies. But I think it I think it does on the Trillion Sprout. I don't remember these things very well. Let's use Magnet. Keep defending. We're in a pretty good we're in pretty good shape. We all have shields. We're just chilling right now. Ah, it's just making it stronger. Let's bash this stupid son of a gun. I'm tired of just sitting here. Ness can do some serious damage, so he he should do some serious damage. You hit me? Well I hit you. How do you like that? <laughs> hit him for the win. That's awesome. Alright, eleven thousand. Ness's level is now 27. Offense went up by 2. Defense went up by 1. Vitality went up by 1. Max HP went up by 15. That's very nice. And PP went up by 2. Learned Hypnosis. Paula's level is now 25. Guts went up by 1. Max HP went up by 3. Paula realized the power of Thunder Beta. It's basically the exact same thing as Thunder Alpha, but it attempts to hit twice. Just so you know. Jeff's level is now 25. HP went up by 1. Jeff's level is now 26. Defense went up by 1. Speed went up by 1. IQ went up by 1. Luck went up by 1. Max HP went up by 1. 1 1 1. And now we get the third melody. Ness thought he heard his mother from far away. She said, Be a thoughtful, strong boy. Nessa's soundstone recorded the melody of the Milky Well. Awesome. That means our soundstone now has three of the eight uh, melodies. And of course, being a holy spot, Jeff has lost his mushroom. Good. About time. That was easy. Dang. I, th I think what was so, so surprising is that I was worried because in the beginning, Jeff lost his, uh, also another butterfly dank. Jeff lost his ability to think because he had, he was confused. And I was like, oh man, this is, this is going to make it really, really hard because it's already normally really hard. I normally have a hard time with this part, this, this, this part, but I didn't today, which is really cool. Oh my God. Seriously. I can squeeze through these guys. So I don't want to fight them. That was close. Aw, oh, are you serious? Oh, can I get by you? Why are you running towards the door? Oh, whatever, let's do it. Let's do it. Come here. I know you want to fight, so let's fight. I'm just going to hit you with all I got. Rockin' beta. Fire beta. Shooting this guy. Blocking my stinking door. Bam, bam, rockin' boom. <laughs> it's, it's completely unnecessary. But hey, no complaints. It's a lot of stinking damage. Okay, awesome. 
you won, not to be confused with the protagonist of Guitar Room Man. And back into Southern Valley. Wow, these things really are everywhere. Actually, that's awesome because that'll prevent us from having to stop by the hotel. We can just pick up the butterfly. Sweet. That's awesome. This person right here is worth talking to. Very much worth talking to. It's a it's an incredible scene. It's the coffee scene. I would highly recommend you play Earthbound so you can see it. And some of you are going, what? You're going to skip the coffee scene? Yes, I'm going to skip the coffee scene. I'm trying to give you incentives to play the game yourself. If you are very curious and you know that you're not going to play Earthbound, go, go, go ahead and go to YouTube's search box and type in Earthbound coffee scene and you can watch it yourself. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I have to do this. We're moving forward. I'm not being mean. I'm doing it for your own good. I really want you to play this game. I've already had a few people send me private messages um, asking, you know, how to, to play Earthbound, how to get an emulator and ROM and do all that stuff. Um, if you need help, send me a message. I will, I will help you. I'll walk you through it so you can play the game yourself. It's a fantastic game. You really should, you really should play it. It's a classic. And the coffee scene is, is monumental as well. Actually, I parodied the coffee scene one time in my, uh, in my vlog. So once you've seen the coffee scene, you should, um, you should look up on Steven Vlog a day called, uh, and here's the China Buffet. So if you just type in probably China Buffet into the search box, you can find it. And I parody the coffee scene, and it's pretty hilarious. It's also really well done. So I'd recommend watching it if you haven't. Oh, a single armored frog, how cute. See, when we came up through here, we weren't that strong, but now we're we're crazy strong, and we will mess you up, Armored Frog. I'm just gonna use Freeze Alpha, because I think that, along with Nessa's physical attacks, will take it out. Yep. Awesome. See, I'm not a complete idiot. Uh, there was like a few episodes ago, I, I, I couldn't remember <laughs> if I was supposed to be using Freeze or Fire on some of the enemies, and I felt bad. Um, because I, I have played the game so much, but uh, it's, it comes back to me a bit. A little bit. Not all of it. Some of it, though. Wow, that'll take care of the frog. Jeez. Go, Paula. Enemy left a present, and inside was a broken spray can. Paula's level 26, offense went up by 2, max of HP went up by 3, people went up by 1. I'm gonna run by this frog if I can. Oh, God, I want that. I want it. I do want it. It is free PP, and I've used some. So we're going to have to fight this frog to get by it. But whatever. I, I, I mean, this is the third frog I've fought, and I've had absolutely no troubles just because I'm using Freeze Alpha and then hitting it. Might have some trouble this time. Yep. Figures. Crap. Whatever. Bam. Take that. That'll kill you. Of course, the first time it doesn't do anywhere near 200. The second time it does pretty much 200 damage. And another broken spray can. That's wonderful. Okay. Let's uh, go ahead and life up Jeff. So we are going to get this butterfly. And the enemies that leave presents, um, the odds of getting a present is varied. Uh, you can get... You can get a present every time. Um, some enemies. Some enemies will, will, will leave you their stuff every single time. Some of them are very, very rare. And there's items that are called uh, 1... 128 items. Uh, which means you have, a ch you have a 1 in 128 chance of getting the item. It just so happens that one of those items is called the Sword of Kings. And is the only weapon... That the last character of the game, Pooh, can use. Um, I think I think you can equip like slingshots and stuff, but those suck. So anyway, the first thing you're going to notice is three's a lot different. By taking care of the Belch base, we have restored peace to Threed, which is awesome. Now it's it's important to note that it's by beating the Belch base that it does this, not by beating Trillian Sprout. In fact, the, both the second and third sanctuary locations don't even have to be done when when you, you're you at that point in the game. We could have skipped Mondo Mole, we could have skipped Trillian Sprout and come back later, but it's it's worth doing it now to get it out of the way. 
Thank you for bringing peace and happiness back to Threed. Thanks. Peace. Love. I really didn't think those kids could have saved the town. Who would have ever imagined it? I won't forget you. Won't you come back to Threed sometime? Since the leader of the monsters is gone, the ghosts in the tunnel have disappeared. The buses can get through the tunnel now. Alrighty. Huh. That's, that's, that's pretty much me. Because I say alrighty a lot. I got that from Ace Ventura. Ace Ventura affected me heavily as a child. You're heroes. That rocks. The good news in all of this is that the buses are running. So next episode, we will take the bus into the next town, Foreside. Are you excited? You should be. If you've liked what you've seen, then please consider subscribing. I do all these types of videos all the time. I release a new video game video every single day. So thank you for watching, and tune in next time on Steven Plays.